Hi guys, welcome back to You Better Work. Happy New Year. Sorry that it is February before I've uploaded a new video, um, but thanks for bearing with me. Uh, you may have seen in my last video that we decided to take on some house renovations and um, I took on some freelance work as well as my PhD and some teaching. And so everything's just gone a little bit crazy at the moment. But I am back and um, I've got lots of ideas for new content and today is one of them. So I am going to be reviewing um, my fairly new Rocker London bag. Rocker, Broker, I'm not sure. Um, this is, I believe, the Cranfield B bag in size medium. Um, and it's in the sherbet colour, which is the brightest pink. Um, which is <laughs> very me if you know me so um, yeah I just wanted to kind of come on and review this it took me a long time to pick a bag I wanted a new rucksack for work and for university and everything that I was looking at online was really expensive and then I noticed that my colleague had one of these bags slightly smaller in yellow and I just really liked it so I had a look online and my only complaint really about the bag is that their website is very very confusing all of the bags look very similar um so it makes it really difficult to pick one even when you know that you want one i have seen them in a few shops in cornwall and if we've got them in shops in cornwall then they're definitely elsewhere because we get everything way later than everyone else so if you can find one in person that's what i kind of did had a look at the ones in person and then sent two that I liked um, to my mum and she picked one for me for Christmas. So I had this as a Christmas present. So I've been using this for about a month now and I thought that was a good time to do a review on it if you're looking for a new work bag. As I say, they're really expensive. This one I think is about £65, which isn't cheap, um, obviously, but I think sometimes you have to pay a little bit more if you want something that will last other backpacks that I've had have sort of faded or the handles have gone you know um, thin and things like that so I wanted to pay for that and also um, Rocker or Roker London have a really kind of sustainable ethos and use as many kind of recycled materials as possible so I felt like it was something worth kind of giving the money to. So as I mentioned all of the bags are fairly similar there's loads of different colours to choose from if you like pink like me there's about three or four different pinks to pick from as I say this is the sherbet so you get um, I'll try and go through sort of the features of the bag you get these two handles on top um, which are kind of standard for carrying them you also get your two straps on the back of the bag and these are quite um, stiff when you first get them and it does say that they'll loosen up and they really do. I've only been using it for a month as I say and they're already um, much more comfortable. I would say that they're a really nice thickness, they don't feel kind of cumbersome when you've got it on your back. Um, but equally they feel sturdy enough that they're going to stay on. Um, the other sort of features of the outside of the bag are you've got two pockets on either side um, so I always put my bottle in there. That was one thing that I was worried about with my last rucksack was that I was going to have a leak and everything was going to be ruined on my laptop and notepad so really like to have that on the sides. You also get a really big pocket on the front here um, which is really roomy. I've, fit my purse and my phone and things in here really easily um, so that's really great and easy access and then on the back you've got this nice sort of like padding detailing um, for your back as you're carrying it you've got the nice sort of label there but then what I didn't realise when I ordered it is you also have this secret back pocket um, which obviously is kind of close to your back so if you want to put your purse or wallet in there um, it's much more secure especially if you're in busy areas so I really like the functionality of it um, in terms of its opening they're quite unusual they've got these sort of like magnetic um, I don't know if you can see those like circles there so they just fold over and um, stick what do you call it just kind of stay together whatever you call magnets staying together and then you've got this little hook that I suppose you could hook. There's also hooks either side here and here. 
I have not worked out what they're for yet. I think you could probably put um, a carabiner or something like that to hook other things onto the bag. That's that's what I think they must be for. Um, so again, it's nice to have that option. If I was maybe like using this as a dog walking bag, you know, I could hang kind of like poo bags or his lead um, off there. So that would be really useful. The material is kind of um, like a nylon-y material. It's very sort of weather resistant. I wouldn't say it's 100% waterproof. I don't think the website claims it to be, but it's, um, you know, it feels durable and I have worn it in the rain without any problems. So yeah, so to open it, you undo the magnets. I have also filled it up right to the top here and not done the magnets up, which was also fine. You then have um, a really kind of big, sturdy um, zip. Not used to doing these kinds of videos, so bear with me. And then plenty of room. As I say, this is the medium size bag, so you can see next to my face <laughs> how big it is. And I'll just try and see if I can show you inside. So inside you've got this little separate compartment for your laptop, which was something I really wanted again based on kind of using, um, you know, just regular backpacks. It's padded enough that I think you could put your laptop in comfortably without a case. For me, I only had my laptop a few months ago and I'm still pretty careful with it, especially because it's got all my PhD work on. But if you were maybe had a chunkier laptop, I've got a MacBook Air. And um, so that's the kind of size laptop and slightly bigger that can comfortably fit in this compartment. Plus I've got quite a, you know, it is a larger case than the laptop is and it still fits in there well. Um, so you've got that and then you've got lots of space. You've got two, I don't know if I can show you this. You've got two, well, let me just show you. So huh, I don't know if I'll do another video like this. This is hard. So plenty of space. The reason I got the medium is my colleague who's got the small one says that fitting an A4 notepad um, in the small size is not possible. So you've got plenty of space for an A4 notepad. Um, you've then got two of these kind of, you know, these internal compartments. You've got one on either side there and there. And again, they're a really decent size, actually. They go down sort of about that much of the bag. So I've used those for sort of like putting medication in and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, and then you've got the laptop compartment, which has a handy little um, strap on to keep your laptop in. Ooh. Just dropped my laptop. <laughs> Speaking of how careful I am around my laptop, just absolutely chucked it on the floor. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much, I'm just looking if there's anything else I haven't discovered that's inside, but it's a really good, you can't really convey the size, but if I say that I carry sort of four A4 books in here, plus a laptop quite comfortably, um, plenty of room for chargers, notes and things like that. Um, so yeah, so not a very long video, but just to wrap up to say that I really would recommend this obviously I am not big enough that this is like a paid advert or anything I just think they're really nice bags really practical much cheaper than some of the other sort of work or university backpacks that I've seen on the market I think you have to be a little bit careful um especially around sort of back to school time people put prices up of these sorts of things that they know are essentials but I would say that there's enough versatility that you know any gender would find a colour and a style that would suit them. I have had a look on their website, they also do smaller sort of crossover bags and branching out into other things aside from backpacks. Um, but if you're looking for something that's really dependable, has all the kind of utility that you need, I would definitely recommend looking at these bags. As I say there are different versions so this is the pockets and features that this one has but if you're looking for something slightly different, there are other versions on the website. Enough colours, um, you know, to take your pick of the rainbow and just really comfortable to wear and really easy to sort of use. And as I say, functional in terms of nothing's gonna 
nothing's going to come out nothing's going to get wet you can kind of use that as a bit of overspill space so look that's quite a big bag when you haven't got the magnetic fold over as well so yeah i would really recommend this bag i'm really glad that i got it um please leave a comment if you have any questions um specifically about the bag i'm not i'm not sure what you could ask but i'm happy to answer any questions and yeah hit the thumbs up if you like this video do drop a comment below if there's anything else that you want me to review or any essentials or items that you're looking for for work or for university or school or college or anything like that um, and I'll try and, and find a solution for you and please do hit the subscribe button to help these videos reach more people. Thank you so much for watching, have a lovely week and I'll be back soon with a more regular You Better Work video. Bye guys!